about when you were bowling to uh, Courtney Walsh and uh, against the West Indies in 2001, and he just got distracted to a point of laughter. Um, I guess there's two things that come to mind. One was uh, was this sort of uh, you know funkiness in a team of really hard nosed competitors. Uh, how is that perceived? Uh, you mentioned it was uh, you knew you knew most of the guys before, so maybe it wasn't as um, as much of a issue getting accepted. But how what did they think about your uh, you know just your style? <laughs> Um, again, it was it, it was it wasn't planned. I wasn't I didn't go to that test match planning to dye my hair blue. Um, I was hoping to go to that test match and be named in the one day squad uh, on the second day of the test match. That was when they normally named the squad for the rest of the summer. Um, and then I always had dreams of maybe doing it on a Friday night at the MCG in front of eighty thousand people, wearing coloured clothing with the coloured hair. That was that was my plan. Um, when they named the squad on the second morning uh, or at the end of the, end of the first day, it might have been, um, I wasn't in the one-day squad and I never played one-day cricket for Australia. Uh, the one opportunity I did get to go to Kenya to play uh, in, a, in a world championship, I tore a cup and couldn't go. So my plan was derailed. So there goes my Friday night plan, one-day cricket under the lights to, well, this is my last game of, this, of the summer, um, being a test match, let's do something for tomorrow. And I just called a hairdresser out of the blue and said, hey, um, I actually got the concierge at the hotel to call the hairdresser for me and just asked them to bring some colour in. And they just happened to bring in blue. It could have been purple, it could have been green, it could have been any colour, but she just happened to bring in blue that night. Um, and so walking out the next morning uh, at the team meeting, um, Steve wore one of the two fast bowlers to op open the bowling just to get the last wicket. And I said to Steve, mate, I just spent $100 on my hair last night. It's blue, there's 45,000 people outside. I need to bowl the first over. And Steve had a laugh and they said, no problems, Cole, you can bowl the first over. And that's really how it, that's what it all came about.